Hello and welcome to Handmade Originals. In this video I'm going to show you how to cut cleanly a kitchen worktop like this which is made from laminate and chipboard underneath. Um, if you're not careful it's very easy to end up with a worktop which has a rough edge like this where a lot of the laminate has been snagged and snapped and what I'm going to show you today is how to cut it cleanly like this. Um, it's easier to understand what's going on if you examine how a worktop is actually made, or this worktop. This is a thin layer of plastic on top, which is actually quite brittle. So this is a piece of the laminate here, and this is chipboard underneath. Now, for some peculiar reason which I do not understand, jigsaws, which is what I'm going to use to cut this, cut on the upstroke. So if you are cutting it with the right side on the top, as your blade goes along, it will lift like this and it will snap unevenly the laminate which is on the top. And that's why you end up with that very snaggy edge. Now, a lot of people solve this problem by turning their worktop upside down like this and cutting it from the wrong side. I, I honestly, I'm not wishing to disrespect those people, I do not understand why you would do that because I want to see where I'm cutting, perhaps it's just lack of experience on my part. So I want to be able to cut it right side up so I can see where my line is and I see what I'm, how I'm going to cut it. So my solution is not to turn it upside down but actually to change the blade in the jigsaw. So in my jigsaw, here. This is the blade here. Normally it cuts, as I say, it cuts on the upstroke and what I've done here is I've changed this blade for a blade which is an R blade, which stands for reversible, and that means this particular blade cuts on the downstroke so that as I go along cutting like this, it is cutting sharply into the laminate first and then it cuts into the chipboard underneath. So the way I think about it which might make you cringe, is if you think about having like false nails. So if you're cutting down, it's cutting cleanly through the nail. Obviously you don't want to cut your fingers off. But if you're cutting up, then you're lifting the nail and you're ripping it, even though you can cut cleanly through the <laughs> finger underneath. I don't know why I use this analogy. Anyway, so to cut a long story short, I've changed my blade in the jigsaw and I'm going to cut on the downstroke. So to cut the front edge, that's the, the top of your, except you won't have a hole in it, that's the top of your worktop, this is the front edge. To cut your front edge, um, I'm just a bit concerned if I use my jigsaw on it straight like that, that because the blade's going up and down, I can just kind of rip this bit. So to be super sure that you're going to get a nice straight line, I would use a hand saw, which is a coping saw, or a fret saw. Um, and all you do, you start on this edge along here, if you can see, so this edge, I've got the underneath here and the top here, and you just you just make one little saw in it like that. This is one I've already cut, one I prepared earlier for those of you that used to watch Blue Peter. This is my initial cut and then because you've got one initial cut it's easier to carry on. And then it's right, so here I have, you just see there, I've just done that second one, cut through the laminate here. So when the jigsaw approaches from this edge, that front edge is already cut and it will literally just cut all the way across here, cutting straight down sharply through that laminate and through the chipboard underneath. Before we use the jigsaw, uh, there are some health, health and safety considerations. Firstly, uh, don't leave it plugged in, switched on, unless you're actually about to use it. So I'll just switch it on now. Secondly, Always use goggles. 
Thirdly, make sure you've got no small children or pets running about. And fourthly, this is a great bit of kit, but it's a tool, not a toy. Do not mess about with power tools like this because you can actually do a lot of damage. They're brilliant, but they're also quite dangerous in the wrong hands, of course. Right, one more thing, um, which I think is absolutely crucial if you're using a jigsaw, and that is to have clamps. And I say clamps plural. If you only have one, um, when you're using your jigsaw, it's vigorous movement up and down, but you're also pressing down and moving in, in one direction. And it's quite easy to have this happen, where your worktop just kind of starts moving around. You end up accidentally cutting the table, which I've done before now, not to be recommended. Um, so I would always use two. Uh, the other thing is, if you think about the difference between a stiletto heel and a flat heel on soft mud, if you use just a clamp like this onto something which is quite brittle, like the laminate, um, it's quite easy. If you over clamp it, make it too tight, it will crack the surface and you'll end up with two dents here and have to get a new worktop. So I've put um, little bits of cork in here to spread the pressure that's downwards on the, on the laminate top. And I would suggest that you could do that too, or you could put like a paperback book or something under there or an old newspaper, but something just to spread the pressure so that you don't end up cracking your laminate surface, which you cut beautifully, but then has two holes in it. Right, I am now going to cut. I'm going to cut always from the front edge where you have just um, made your cut mark. Some people score in rather than cut with, um, with a knife. If you're going to use a knife, don't use a feeble knife like that and equally don't use um, a plastic ruler against it because otherwise you'll just end up with a wavy line. You want to use a metal ruler and a, a rigid blade like this. As I say, I've dealt with it, not with either of those, but with a coping saw. Now, let's cut this baby. Right, this is going to get noisy. What I'm going to do is I'm using, there's a, a little guide arrow here at the front. I'm going to use that. Some people look at the blade. Whichever one you look at, stay consistently looking at that. Don't switch from one to the other or you'll end up with a wavy line. Um, and also you have to press down, get your blade in the right place, press down and forwards and look at it from overhead. Find where you've made your cut. straight line here which we cut with the coping saw fantastic straight line here no breaks no chipping no lifting and that is how you cut a laminate worktop and if you look underneath you can see hopefully you can see the jagged edge where on the downstroke it has lifted the paper which is glued to the bottom of the um, chipboard and that's what would have happened to your laminate if you had used the blade the other way round. I'm pretty proud of that. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe below. Um, handmade originals, usually I cover anything and everything creative. Um, so hopefully you'll look at some of the other videos and enjoy them. And some exciting news is that later this year, a new online magazine is going to be launched featuring handmade originals. The new magazine is going to be called uh, Becoming a Creative Magazine and I'm going to put a link to that below, which is not the actual magazine because that's not launched yet, but it is a Facebook uh, page where you can see what's happening with the magazine in all the preparations for launch. So hopefully later this year you can join me on that. Anyway, thank you very much. See you next time.